Hey everybody. Well, this is a quick update to the tobacco plants and a little informative video about tobacco budworm and harvesting and drying. As you can see, the tops of these tobacco plants I allowed to seed. Some of them I clipped off, but many of them I left. And they form these seed pods, which are, let's just say each one of those seed pods probably has several hundred seeds in it, at least a couple hundred, and there are <laughs> a thousand, a couple thousand of them. Um, generally, you harvest the seed pods off if you want the leaves to grow bigger, right? Because it's putting more energy into buds. So I clipped a lot of them, like over here, but I also left quite a few because I wanted to sell some of my seeds and give some away to people. And uh, while I was harvesting, I, I, I noticed, well, if you look here, down here on these leaves, it might be more difficult to see because I'm out in the sun, but I'll show you over here. So right here I have my tobacco that I've been growing. As you've seen it hung before, I had these uh, lines of tobacco, which were, I string them out like this at first. And once they're somewhat dry, at least to this point, I sun dry them to that point. And then they have kind of a, a soft feel to them. They're not completely dry yet. They're still malleable. And at that point I group them up and uh, these ones are sun-dried, whereas I have some that are uh, carefully dried in the dark in the back, and I have them in a box, but sometimes I'll just dump these in a box afterwards to let them finish curing and drying. And uh, <clears throat> they have a really, a really wonderful smell. I mean, I, I love the smell of tobacco. So over here, what we have is this is the cream of the crop, or the primo, the very top leaves off of the plants and they contain the most oils and the most nicotine and everything else and they're very potent and this isn't regular tobacco by the way this is uh, Aztec tobacco or uh, well let's just say it's ten times stronger than standard tobacco so it's not meant to be rolled in cigarettes um, it's the stuff they make mapacho out of and snuffs and various stronger compounds but uh, this is a very strong uh, a very strong leaf compared to the rest of the plant, so I'm kind of a little reluctant to even to even try these, but I have some dried out, and they dry out really malleable and oily. And I also wanted to show you this. Now, I think this is the one. Maybe it's this one over here. There we go. Now this is the budworm. Now when you're growing... I'll just focus already. You can see him right here above my finger. It's just a little worm. And he's crawling along the stem there. And he will chew into that bud and make a hole like the one you see up here. And uh, these holes will start dropping seeds out of them. It'll be either round or oblong. And that's how you know you have budworms. You'll see the seeds all over the stem, all over the pods, and falling down on your leaves, which can be a pain in the butt when you're harvesting leaves because you don't want seeds left behind. Um, those budworms are also found in, I believe, begonias and petunias and marigolds. And they love to destroy flowers. Generally, there's so many seeds available, it's not a big issue, but um, having them on there is kind of messy because it gets seeds all over the leaves. So you have to clean every little seed off before you dry it, or else you're going to end up with a, a popping and crackling tobacco, and that's something you don't want. Anyhow, I just thought I would share some of those, uh, some of those things and uh, my little budworm realization. I hadn't shared that before, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this in there to dry with the rest of them. The one I showed before, I have a huge box full that's that's slowly drying. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm just just enjoying growing because growing plants is something that's a passion of mine, and. Uh, Nature is always worth embracing, even if I'm not a smoker anymore. <laughs> Take care, my friends. Thanks for listening.